Well, hello there again. Uh, let's practice some of this, the stuff you saw in uh, video uh, 25, it's called, uh, that I made a few years ago, involving uh, work dealing with modular and clock arithmetic. And uh, so let me share the screen with you here. And if you have your group worksheet 25 handy, that would be helpful. Uh, in a few minutes, I will be going over that with you. So let's do that. So let me get the sh uh, screen shared here. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on a second here. I'm working on it. All right, here we go. There we are, and away we go. All right, now, um, you saw that given this mod 12 clock here below and noting that the time of the clock reached six, what times are gonna be 12 hours from now? You found out looking at the video that I made several years ago that 12 hours from now on a clock is exactly the same time. We're not worried about AM and PM, right? So it would be six o'clock. So you know the answer to that one, all right? Now, if we go to this one, given this mod 12 clock, and knowing the time on the clock is eight o'clock, what time will this clock read in 19 hours? Well, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I could count ahead around the clock, 19 hours, all right? Or what I could do is simply take my current time, which is eight, okay? Take eight and add to it, all right? The 19 hours, I get 27 o'clock. I simply take 27 o'clock divided by the mod number, which is 12, right? When I do, it goes twice, 24 with a remainder of three. So the time will be three o'clock. If I go ahead and count this, all right, you can see if I add 19 hours, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and my time is definitely three, okay? Now, if we go to this, uh, given the mod nine clock shown here, and knowing the time of the clock reads five, what time will it be in 13 hours? Well, again, I simply take five, add 13 to it, I get 18 o'clock, okay? If I divide 18 o'clock by the mod I'm in, nine, it goes twice, and notice I get no remainder. So if it's a zero remainder, the answer is obviously what? Zero. So the time would be zero. Let's go on. Is this statement that follows true or false? Well, you know, there's a lot of different ways to tackle this, but the simplest thing really to do is just work out the left side, get the answer, and then convert it to mod six, okay? So four to the third power, uh, four times four is 16, and that times four, I believe, is 64. So this will be 64 plus 42. Is that equivalent to five mod six? Well, if I add 42 to 64, I get 106. Is that equivalent to five mod six? Well, so if I take 106 and divide it by my mod number six, goes once, remainder of four, I bring down the six. Uh, six goes into 46 uh, seven times, that's 42. And the remainder I get is four, not five. So I got four and four is definitely not equivalent to five mod six. Now, what I'm doing right now is actually what you're gonna be doing on video quiz 25, okay? I'm gonna go beyond this material that's on this uh, precursor here for video quiz 25 and do some harder stuff, but then I'll come back and let you do video quiz called 25. You must be wondering why they're out of order. When these videos were first made through a, a lady by the name of Professor Carter and myself, we made the videos and my videos had to go to a higher number than hers 
That's the reason I jumped to Video Quiz 25, and we're going to be doing Group Work 25 and Group Work 26. But we'll get back down into order again uh, after we finish this uh, class today. So, all right. So let's go on. Number five, evaluate or work out the phrase on the left and then determine the correct solution for the phrase written in mod 10. Well, I'll tell you something. One way to do this is just do the left-hand side, work it all out. So six times 17, seven is 42, it's 102, I believe, plus 36, which I believe would be 140, no, 138, right? Well, all I have to do for mod 10 is look at the last digit, right? So it's got to be what? 8. Whoops, sorry. It's got to be 8 mod 10. I don't want to write an equal sign in there. So 8 mod 10 is the final answer on that. We could have switched those numbers to mod 10ers right away. For example, 17 is 7. Uh, 4 times 9, 9 is 1 mod 10, or... 9 is simply 9, I'm sorry. So it's uh, 36, 42, right? Uh, I can make this a 2 mod 10, make this a 6 mod 10, and notice I get an 8 again. So you can, for mod 10, it's really simple. And the coding system I'm going to be talking about in the next video you're going to see after this one uh, does a lot with mod 10, okay, as you're going to find out in that video. Okay, well, let's go on. I'm not going to give you the quiz right now, but what I want you to do is look at group worksheet 25. It says convert 68 or 3826 to a mod 9 number doing the division by hand. So what I've done is I've blown this up a little bit here. So I'm going to take 3826 and divide it by 9. And when I do this, looks like I obtain an answer of 1. So this is 1 mod 9. Now I know you folks don't like to do longhand division. So what I'm going to suggest to you right now is a method you can use to use your calculator to do this type of work. Okay? So look at number 2 on here. It says convert 3826 to a mod 9 number using a calculator as described. Okay, if you right now would pick up your phone or calculator and take 3826 and divide it by 9, 3826 divided by 9, when you do, you get 425 with a bunch of decimal stuff, repeating ones afterwards, right? Well, now, you see, the repeating ones represent the remainder, okay? So, you know, we don't know what that remainder is. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do. When you do these on your calculator, do the division, throw the decimal away. Remember the 425 you got, and simply take 425 times the mod number you were dividing by, which is 9. And when you do, you get 3825. Now, if you take the 3825, all right, and you put that underneath the number you were dividing into in the beginning of the problem, 3826, notice you get the remainder 1. All right? So, as it says here, Subtract your answer to part B from 3826. And that's, of course, what I did right here. And I got the answer 1. So that's another way that you can use your calculator to do these problems. Just get the whole number part, multiply it by the mod number you're dividing by, right? Get that answer and subtract that from the number you were originally dividing in to, and you will have your remainder, which is your answer in that mod, okay? That's why I'm suggesting this. So I thought we'd practice a few of these. It won't take us long. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. 
All right, 47 is what number mod 8? Well, you just divide 8 into 47. All right, this is pretty simple, right? It, it goes 5 times with a remainder of 7. So you know the answer is 7 mod 8. If you divided that on your calculator, you get 5 and a bunch of junk afterwards. You just do 5 times 8, get your 40, subtract it from 47, and you've got 7. What is 128 mod 5? Well, if you use your calculator, all right, if you take 128 and divide it by 5, you get 25.6. You throw away the 0 0.6, you take 25 times 5, so you do 25 times 5, of course that's 125. So if you just take 128 and 125 and you subtract the 125, you get that the remainder is 3. So the answer to this is 3 mod 5. Pretty simple process, right? Okay, let's go to 5 and 6. 31 is what number? Uh, I'm sorry, in mod 31, 157 is what number mod 31? So on my calculator, I'd like you to do the same thing right now with me. Take 157, divide it by 31, when you do, you'll get 5.06 and a bunch of junk. Just throw the, the decimal away, the junk away, and multiply 5 times 31. Well, you know that's 155, right? So if you take 157 and subtract from it 155, you get 2. So this is 2 mod 31. This one is really easy, number 6, right? All you have to do is look at the last digit, right? In mod 10, the last digit of the number is what the remainder would be if you divided by 10. So the answer is simply what? 5 mod 10. Easy, right? All right, let's go on. Okay, 216 is what number mod 8? So I simply take 216, I divide it by 8. I hope you've done that on your calculator right now. When you do, oh, goes in evenly. Goes in 27 times. Now, since it went in evenly, what does that tell you? There's no remainder, right? So the answer to this has to be 0 mod 8. If I demonstrate this out longhand, right? 2 times 8 is 16. This is 56, right? For the remainder is 5. I bring down the 6. 7 times 8 is 56. There is no remainder, right? So I know it's 0 mod 8. All right, 1482 in mod 15. 1482. I take it and divide it by the mod number 15. I get 98.8. So it's 0 0.8. I throw it away. I simply do 98 times 15. When I do, I get 1470. I put, I'm sorry, I put the 1482 up above it. I subtract them, I get 12. So this answer is 12 mod 15. Okay, well, these are basically the same kind of problem, so we'll whip through them real quick. Uh, on your calculator, please, right now, take 1578 and divide it by 42. You got a mess after the 37, didn't you? So just take the 37. So 37 times 42. And when you do, you get 1554. So you simply take 1578. 1554 away from it, and you get what? 24. So this is 24 mod 42. And of course, the next one's a piece of cake, right? It's mod 10, so it's the very last digit, right? So the answer is simply 8 mod 10. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. Okay. Let's go on. 
All right, now these are getting a little bit harder because I made longer stuff on the left-hand side. You have a couple choices here you can do. You could decide to switch the numbers all to mod fives if you want, okay, and work the problem out, but let's just work it out. Eight squared is 64, five times four is 20, that's 84. So take your phone or calculator, divide by, divide 84 by five, 84 divided by five. When you do, you get 16.8. Throw away the 0 0.8, multiply by 16. So if I do 16 times five, I get 80. So if I put 80 underneath 84, I get four. So this answer is four mod five. Okay, well, let's do the next one. Next one's a little harder. Let's do eight carat four for eight to the fourth power. That's 40, 96. From it, doing it in my head, I can subtract. I get 34. Well, I'm going to subtract 34. And I'm going to add to it three times 18. Hey, let me ask you something. Wouldn't 18 be zero mod nine? Nine then another nine is 18. So actually that last piece I could just throw away, but I won't. But if I did throw it away, I will still get the same answer. So it doesn't make any difference. So I believe this is 54, right? Okay, so I better do that on the calculator. So I'm gonna take 4096 minus 34 plus 54. Oh. Ah, I got an error, a syntax error. I don't know why, but let me try again. 4096 uh, minus 34 plus 54 equals 4116. Now, I've got to change that to a mod 9 number. So I first divide 4116 by 9. When I do, I get 457 with repeating threes. Well, I just take the 457, so 457 times 9, and I get 4113, so I can see that my remainder would be 3. So this is 3 mod 9. I don't think this is too bad, do you? No, not at all. Okay, well, these are going to get a little bit harder. But you know what? We're tough. We can handle it. So let's do the first one there. 9 to the 6th power. Would you please all do that? I got 531,441. I'm going to add to that 8 times 13. And of course, 8 times 13, I believe, is 104. And I'm going to subtract from it 49. Okay, so let's see. Let's take 531441. Let's add to it 104. And let's subtract from that 49. When I do, I get 531,496. And now I'm going to divide it by my mod number to convert it, right? So I hit divided by 7, and I get, ooh, it came out exactly even. So if it came out exactly even on the division, my answer should be 0, right? Should be 0. Now, I'm going to show you another way quickly to do this problem, to make life easier. First of all, isn't 7... The same thing as 0 mod 7? It is, isn't it? So the last piece here is actually 0. What is 13 in mod 7? Wouldn't it be 6? And what is 8 in mod 7? Wouldn't it be 1? It's one more than, uh, it's one more than 7. So it would be the same thing 
right? As one. What's one times six? Six. Hey, what's nine mod seven? Nine mod seven is two past seven. So it'd be just two to the sixth power. You never can mess with the powers. Okay, now what is two to the sixth power? Two carat six is 64 plus six minus zero. What is 64 plus six? It's 70. 70 minus zero is 70. If you divide 70 by seven, it's gonna come out even. So you know the answer has to be zero. I'm just showing you that was another way we could do the exact same problem. A lot of people don't like doing the conversions as you go, but you know what? You can save yourself a lot of work, all right? I usually won't give you ones this hard, but uh, for example, when you look at the next one, I'm gonna show you some ways to take some shortcuts here. Why do we make it hard? Uh, remember, you leave your exponents alone. You don't mess with them. 14 to the 11th power. 14 is the same thing as zero mod 14, isn't it? So that's zero. 17 is what number in mod 14? It's three past 14, isn't it? So it'd be plus three to the third. And what is 15? 15 is one mod 14, isn't it? So that would be one to the eighth power, which is just one. Three to the third power is 27. 27 minus one is 26, right? So to convert that, I can almost do that simply by longhand. It goes once with a remainder of 12. So this is 12 mod 14. I'd rather do it this way then work out 17 to the third power, 15 to the eighth power, and 14 to the 11th power. I saved myself a lot of hassle here, right? All right, so let's go to the next sheet, or the next problem number, excuse me, still on this sheet. Well, let's convert this baby to mod 10. Wait a minute. Why don't we convert all the numbers to mod 10s first? Be a lot easier. 14 is four. 27 is 7, and 33 is 3. Now let's multiply that together. It's a lot easier. What's 28 times 3? Well, so I don't mess it up. I'll do 28 times 3, and I get 84, right? Which is just what? 4 mod 10. Isn't mod 10 beautiful? It's really simple, isn't it? All right, let's take some shortcuts on 16. You know, you could work it all out, okay, and then convert it at the end, but it's so much easier just to do it as we go on these mod tenors. 40 is the same thing as zero. We can cross that right out. 20 is the same thing as zero. So zero times 18, we can cross that out. It's zero. So the answer is 72 is what mod 10? It's just two. Piece of cake, right? All right, let's go on. 17, well, let's see, this one's not so easy, but look at the 23. Isn't it one more than 22? So wouldn't this be one mod 22? I'll keep the 37, what the heck? Two to the third is eight. So if I do one, one squared is one, one plus 37 is 38, subtract eight, I get what, 30. I want to know what that is mod 22. I divide 22 into 30. It goes once with the remainder of eight. This should be eight mod 22. So this question is false. All right, how about our next one here? Okay, well, it's all mod 10 stuff, right? So since it's all mod 10, I'm just gonna make this a four. I'm going to make 22 just to, to what it is in mod 10, 2, and I'm going to do 59, which is just 9, minus 8. Eight's already 8 mod 10, right? So let's see. Uh, 4 plus 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 
So I get six. Is six equal to three mod 10? No way. So this is false. This was six mod 10. So it's false, can't not be correct. All right, how about this bugger? Well, I don't wanna do 75 to the third. Since it's a mod 10 question, I'm just gonna make 75 a five to the third. 12, I'm gonna make it a what? A two. 11, I'm gonna make it a one. Well, what is five to the third power? Well, if you do it on your calculator, you'll see it's 125, which is just five mod 10. Two times one is two. Five minus two is three. This answer is three mod 10. So this was true. All right, let's go on. Oh my gosh. What is this thing? Well, you know what? It's mod 10 again, right? So we can cheat like heck on this, right? So I'll do instead of 12 to the fifth, I'll just do two to the fifth. 232 is just two. 51 minus 30 is 21, right? So that's just a one. 65 is just a five. Seven times eight is 56, so that's just a six. 20 is the same thing as zero mod 10, so I can just leave that out. And this huge number, I don't even know what it is, ends in a zero, that to the fifth power is zero. So all I've got to do is do this, okay? So two to the fifth, I believe, is 32, which is the same thing as two. Okay, so let's see. Two plus two is four, minus one is three, plus five is eight, eight and six is 14. So this should be four mod 10, right? I've got three mod 10. So this is false. Okay, now that you have had a chance to look at these particular examples to help you get more comfortable with the material, I would like you to do video quiz 25 right now. Now I want you to look at the back of your sheet 25 right now for a second, if you would, please. I believe the back of your sheet 25 has review questions on it, right? And I'm gonna step over here. Well, I'm not gonna step over there. I'm 99% sure it has review questions. I'd like you to do those review questions for me tonight for homework, okay? So just take a few minutes and do those review questions. Make sure you can do them and uh, that'll be just wonderful. So you're gonna do right now video quiz 25 and I am going to sign off right now and then you're going to watch my uh, video called number 26 which is on UPC codes and uh, on bank routing numbers. So, all right, so I'll see you shortly. Uh, finish up the quiz, please, and we'll see you soon.